people have toast me. Hey, come on. It, well, it must have just slipped his mind. And the car... It's not the daftest thing he's ever done. Look, I know he's daft. I also know that he's selfish and thoughtless, lazy. But do you want to know the one thing about your son that really gets on my wick? Is it personal hygiene? <laughs> it keeps getting worse. Every year. Never mind life begins at 40. My life's gone downhill since he turned 40. I mean, I worked my socks off to turn a, a geriatric hoedown into the best party ever, Len's exact words, and he just lets me down again. Oh, I know he's been a bit off his game lately, but... Off his game? This isn't a game. This is my life. <sighs> hey, do you know what you two need? A holiday. Right now, I want to see less of him, not more. I know a bloke who can get cheap deals at a really nice country house hotel in the lakes. You never told me that. I was saving it for an emergency. What kind of emergency? <laughs> Me in a doghouse kind of emergency. Anyway, I think it'd do you both the power of good. And we, we can take care of everything here. Mm. What do you say? I think about it. Could do with a break. He's very good. He's had a lot of practice. We use Tim. Quick, but not as thorough. You can say that again. Uh, we use Tim as well. Oh, that's my parcel. Yes, you what? My parcel. Mm -hmm. He's having trouble getting a parcel delivered. Why? What's he bought? He doesn't know. It's just that they keep trying to deliver a parcel with his name on it. <coughs> Here. Here. No, 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 wait! Oh, is that for me? No, uh, no, 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 no. No, it, it, it's for me. You see, you see, you've come to the wrong house. It, it's number three you should have been looking for. So it's number eight. This is number eight. It looks like an eight, but actually it's a three. You see, I'm expecting a delivery. That, that parcel has got to be mine. Well, I'm expecting a delivery and all. No, you're just trying to be difficult. Shove off you. I'm expecting a pair of flippers. Oh, well, she's making it up. Have you ever heard of anything so ridiculous? I'll just deliver them. They're for Max. He oh. wants to be a frogman. A frogman? He's barely a tadpole. Check the name. What's the name? Mrs Carly Platt. Ah, see. No, 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 that can't be right. Let me see. Hey, get your hands off me flippers, you. Well, this parcel's got to be mine. I mean... It's addressed to me. Uh... It's from swimfishyswim.co.uk. Now, let go. Do what before I give you a smack. Well, there's, there's no need for that sort of behaviour, is there? I mean, it's just... Well, it was an honest mistake. Yeah, well, shift before I make a mistake. Yeah, it's me. Where's everyone? Mrs. Michelle is setting up at the bar. You missed breakfast. Yeah, well, not really. Michelle is in a very bad mood. And that puts Liz in a bad mood, and that puts me in a bad mood. You're a mess. Says who? Says me, your mum, and Michelle. Listen to me, sunshine. No one tells me how to run my life, not you. Not anyone. Do you hear me? So, sorry. You're not going to wake me, are you? Your mum was right. You should work on your personal hygiene. It's just... Only slept a wink last night. Join the club. Lily had us up five times. I keep going over and over it in my head. There he is, standing in front of me. My own flesh and blood, my son. A man I haven't seen for 25 years. He looks at me. I look at him. I open my mouth to speak and the words just won't come out. Well, I'll be there with you. Can I give you a bit of advice? Yeah, of course you can. Max! Maybe Where don't start with trunks? the whole heart condition thing. I mean, hi, son. Nice to meet you. Sorry I haven't been here for Christmases and birthdays, but you might want to get yourself checked out. You might have inherited a rare genetic heart condition. Do I look like an idiot? Well, I'm only trying to help. I want to get to know him first. 
you know, give him the chance to get to know me. Yeah, well, you best try and get over the whole not being able to speak thing straight away. <sighs> I don't think I've felt so nervous in my whole life. What do you think, Kylie? About what? About Michael meeting his son. Sorry, I don't have an opinion. Yeah, I'm but... too busy. I'll get Lily. I've never been too busy to have an opinion. Look, I, I don't know why you did it. I mean, you knew she'd be mad. Look, the car isn't just, like, a car. Does it drive underwater? No. Does it fly like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? No. Has it got an ejector seat and missiles that come out from the front? Yeah, well, if you just let me finish. Ooh, enlighten us. Well, it's not like some kind of magical car. It just makes me feel... 18 again. <laughs> Normal. Mate, you're not making any sense. If I was you, I would get down on me belly and crawl through the mud and grovel to the woman that I love. He's right, you know. However much you love that car, you do not want to lose Michelle over it. Oh, yeah. My ears burning, are they? Uh, only because we're telling him to grovel. Grovel. Grovel, 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 grovel. Yeah, well, I've got some good news about that. Uh, what's that? Well, thanks to Tony's friend, um, I just booked us a weekend mini break in a nice country house hotel in the lakes. I thought he was in the doghouse. Oh, yeah, believe me, I still want the groveling. It's just, why not make him grovel when I look at the gorgeous views? I'm still here, you know. So, what do you reckon? Uh, well, that sounds good. OK, great. Well, uh, pack a bag and we'll leave it three, yeah? Great. Three. O'clock. I don't know how you do it, mate. How many jerks around? He messes up time and time again. Instead of a, a rolling pin round the ear hole, he gets a mini break in the legs. You've hypnotised that poor woman. It's lucky, I guess. Do you think it'll be glamorous enough? Glamorous enough for what? Well, I'm going to a party tonight and I don't want to let anybody down. Listen, when I've finished with you, you'll be the belle of the ball, all right? Oh, good. That sounds good. Oh, oh and uh, can you put me in for a manicure? Uh, yeah. Uh, Kylie? Mary wants her uh, nails doing. Hello, Audrey's. How can I help? I was thinking of having my nails done. May as well go the whole hog while I'm here. Lovely. Uh, yeah. It's for you. Oh. Hello? Yeah, I know, but I'm busy now. Where? Mum, have you got nothing better to do? I'm worried about Michael meeting his son. Well, go worry somewhere else. I didn't come to see you. I came to see my mum. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got to go. What? Go where? It's a job. I forgot all about it. What, a bloke wants his nails doing now? No, it's for his mum. She's been in hospital, had an operation. Right, well, you should have wrote it in the book. What am I like? Sorry. Oh, well, never mind. So, any other good ideas for a woman who's in the mood for a makeover? I'm sure we'll think of something. Oh, <laughs> lovely. To work now. I wish I could. See, you've skived all morning. Well, I've got things to do. What, polishing your upcaps? No, I've got to uh, pack for this weekend away, haven't I? Th that will take you two minutes. I need you on the road. Look, I'm sorry, but I will be nice and refreshed and ready to go full pelt next week. You better add me. Oh, my. Very glad. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it suits you. <laughs> David Platt said I'd be the belle of the ball. Oh, he was right. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I think it's time I had mine done. I was thinking of maybe a power bob. What do you think? Ha Too sharp. Maybe I should stick with something softer. I'm sorry. I don't have time to chat. Oh. Oh, well, never mind. Yes. I've rather a lot of things to do. After this, we'll take another trip to the tip, yeah? Yeah, I never knew we could have so much rubbish. Mm. 
Well, the way things are going, no one's going to accuse us of being secret hoarders, are they? And chance would be a fine thing. Do you know what I won't miss? What's that? The garden. Weeding, mowing, pruning. I mean, it never stops, does it? What about the barbecues? What about cleaning them? You go to all that effort for the one day he is, nice enough to eat outside. No, I'll tell you what, it'd be like a millstone that's been lifted from around my neck. There we go, hot pot and another half. Oh, actually, Ed, this is for you. Oh, cheers. You deserve it. You deserve a round of applause. <laughs> Why do I deserve all this? Because of the way you handled Steve. Most of us would have just yelled at him and smacked him round the chops. Yeah, well, I did that last night. Just as he's planning to worm his way back into your good books, you throw in a mini break in the lakes. I mean, it's brilliant. Is it? Yeah. Michelle, you're the boss. You've just guaranteed yourself a whole weekend of him groveling and telling you how much he loves you. That is genius manhandling. Mm. To be honest, I wish I didn't have to do any manhandling. Just wish he was how he used to be. Cheers. Hey! Well, have you seen Michelle? Yes. And before you start, we're going away this weekend, so everything's OK, don't need a lecture. Ah. Well, first of all, that was my idea, not hers. And second, everything is not OK, Steve. All right, I should have told her about the car. Yeah, she was all for chucking you in this morning. It's fine. What about the girl? What girl? You were with that young girl. Don't you tell me you're doing a Peter Barlow. Oh, Mother, please. She's young enough to be my daughter. That never stopped Peter. How much do you think I am? Steve, you have messed up every relationship you've ever had. <gasps> and so have you. Right, well, right now I can hear warning sirens. So do something about it and make it quick or you're going to lose that girl. Called me first. So call my mobile. Sorry. So? What can I do for? I just want some speed, that's all. <laughs> so you didn't want to see me? <sighs> Please. I'm having a mad day. Mm, I don't know. You keep blowing hot and cold on me. I thought you didn't want to see me again. I've got money. And then it's like you expect me to do house calls. What's going on with you? Like I said, I'm having a mad day. You've got no idea what my life's like. I just need a bit of help. Once I'm through this, then things can all just go back to normal. Hmm. Normal used to be me and you. Me and you were never normal. And yet, here you are. Please, take the money and give me what I want. Can't do it. Why do we always have to do this? Take money off the mother of my child. <laughs> what sort of a man do you think I am? Whatever you need, you come to me. I will always help you out. Well, it's bigger than I thought. Yep. I like it. I've lived in a lot worse. I just wish it could have been a bit bigger, that's all. Mum, it's fine. The sofa's comfier than my old bed anyway. I'm sorry, love. Oh, as long as we're all together, eh? Yeah. And it gives me a good excuse for a clear-out, doesn't it? I've still got boxes I haven't unpacked from the last time we moved. Well, I love it here. Do you? Why's that, then? It's a flat. Flats are cool, as is the boring. Mm. Well, I like to think of it as an apartment. Oh, an apartment. Now, that's posh, then. Mm -hmm. I like that. From now on, we're living in an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> when did this arrive? Uh, I, I just found it now. But why didn't you answer the door when they were knocking? You know, I must have been pegging out the washing. Oh, you need a hearing aid. You need to calm down. This is not on. It, 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 this is not on at all. It was on the mat when I came in. It's taken me this long to pluck up the courage to bring it over. 
<laughs> you needn't be frightened of him. Really? No. No, I do not want to rearrange delivery. I want you to find my parcel, keep hold of it, and never let it out of your sight. And I will come into your depot and pick it up personally. Now, can you do that? I said, can you do that? Oh. Yeah, so if you come around, say, what, about five? No, you know the kids, they're, like, really excited too. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, so bye. Come in, quick, now. Oh, Sit down. Sit. I just wanted to look nice. All right, Mary, listen, what's happened? Oh, I've been such a fool. What was I thinking? OK, now, let's just calm down, yeah? Well, the label said to do a patch test, but there wasn't any time. And then when it started stinging, I thought, well, we all have to suffer to look beautiful. Of course. What have you done? I've never had long eyelashes. I've never been able to flutter. Now, Mary, listen, you are starting to frighten me. I wanted to try false eyelashes. And... <sighs> I've had a bit of a reaction to the glue. <sighs> Mary, listen, I, I think I should be taken to the hospital, no? Well, I've already been to the medical centre. They've given me some drops. It should go down in a few days, but I can't go out like this. I'm so sorry. No, really, it's fine. But you should still go. You shouldn't let my stupid vanity spoil your evening. No, but Mary, listen, you're not spoiling anything, OK? You just got to concentrate on getting yourself better, OK? But in the meantime, can we just, uh... Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Thank you for being so understanding. Oh, that's better. Oh. Steve! <laughs> Steve! <sighs> He's obviously disappeared again. <sighs> Where is he? I haven't seen him, sorry. Uh, well, he, he was here a minute ago. Yeah, he's meant to be here now. Have you tried the cab off? Yes, I have, and I've tried calling and leaving messages. I'm sure he'll be here any minute. <sighs> Do I look all right? You look fine. I feel a bit sick. I should imagine he feels exactly the same. <laughs> the car. The, the car? Is that all you care about? This stupid car? Well, I am telling you now, I don't come sack a mess of no car. Hey! Oh, you're talking to me now, are you? Well, let's see what reaction I get when I pull your flipping wipers off. Stop, 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 stop it, stop it. Right, we'll talk, we'll talk. Just leave me wipers alone, please. <sighs> wow, don't you look smart? What can I get you, Dad? Just a small brandy, please. Have you got to do one? Mm-hmm. It's a 50th birthday bash. And I'm going to be the only bloke there on his own. Oh, it's not so bad being on your own. Mm, yeah, I know. Me and all these other guys are going to be there with their wives and their girlfriends and their second wives and their third wives, and there's going to be me sitting in a corner like Billy No Days, like a... Sounds like an emergency, if you ask me. No, Steph. This is way past an emergency. You look like you'd be good in an emergency, Julie. Oh, no, no, I go faint at the mere sight of blood. So, if I said lives depended on how fast you could get dressed for a swanky party... Oh, well, if lives were hanging in the balance, I'd say 12 minutes. Would you? Me? Why not? Look, I'd be very honoured to have you by my side. Oh, Dev, I'm flattered. No, I know. I'm sorry, it's too much to ask for. Oh, well, no, no, but... but you'd be saving my life. OK, I'll do it. Oh, yes. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Right, because when I walk into that uh, party with you on my arm, I'm going to be the proudest and the happiest man in Manchester. I'll go and get changed. Mm. Give me 15. I thought you said 12. Well, 12 undressed. You want hair and lippy? Ah, 12, 15. What's the difference? I'll wait here. Oh, sorry. Kevin. Hello, Dad. I feel like I'm the only one making any effort here. 
definitely be bothered to pack a bag. We don't have to go with Max. What am I doing wrong? Nothing. I love you. You know that, don't you? Even when you do stupid things and let me down. When you buy stupid cars and go off with stupid girls. I still love you. Are you trying to tell me something? I'm just... going through a bad patch, that's all. Bad patch? What does that mean? I don't know. You know what I'm like? Well, I thought I did. Steve, look at me. I can't go on like this. I feel like it. I don't know how to make you happy anymore. It feels like you don't want to spend any time with me. Like you do anything to get away from me. <sighs> Steve, will you help me out here? Please just say something. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't walk away right now. <laughs> 